Have you ever felt cooler than you do right now? No. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, Mike is here. Well, actually, I'm with Mike. I am yeah, in yeah. Pennsylvania. Here. I'm, 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 I'm here. Always, How's it going? It has dude, been so long. Go, it's, 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 okay, romance. Hey, what's up? Good to have you back. It is, and yeah. you have a epic collection of cars now. Thank you. A yeah, McLaren 570, you finally got a supercar. What is that one over there? Sitting outside. The Street Speed Corvette. I'm out of room, unfortunately, but yeah, my first you, supercar. Uh, and you got a freaking ZR1. ZR1. Yes. Look at that. Is it still the only manual in the US? No, no, there's a bunch of them now. Oh, so shoot, okay, well, happening. we won't put that really one on film. Think. So the plan was to come to Pennsylvania to go to the call out, hang out with yeah. Mike, and I posted on Instagram that I need a really cool car for the call out. And by that, I mean I need the worst car possible. I took a Prius last time, what could possibly top a Prius? All of a sudden, Steve has, send it Steve over here. on the way, to him going to fix his McLaren, yes. impulse bought something at an auction. We it did. was at like and 4 p.m. yesterday when he actually sealed the deal for the car. And they, they won't tell me what it is, but everyone who's seen the photos has burst out laughing. Apparently it's the interior car. has something special going on. Yeah, either, the seats are either covered in like cow skin, oh, like something what? Like cow print material, or uh, snake skin material. You can't really tell. <laughs> Okay, let, let's go check it out. Here is the Dirty Max. Check out how cool this is. He's got Street Speed 717 engraved. Why don't you have vehicle versions engraved? Oh, I didn't even think of it, but. <laughs> I gotta say, it was a project getting here. We took an Uber all the way from Washington, D.C. And the first Uber driver, as we got in, said, well, that's a pretty far trip, so how about you cancel the Uber, we'll do this under the table, and you'll give me cash. Yeah, I was a little bit uncomfortable with that, and he wasted like 45 minutes of our time. We're finally here. I wake up to him, well, I guess not Mike, but send it Steve, buying me a Steve. car. Yeah, so, uh, car. that's unbelievable. Thank you, Steve. Steve you got anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been trying to guess what this car is, anything from an old Civic to a Ford Focus. I know that it's got something crazy going on with the interior, it's probably rusted. I don't, we don't even know if it runs. That's gonna be the exciting part. Well, the auction slip says it runs. The, the auction, auction slip does, does say it runs. Drives, which, you know, sometimes that's total horseshit. They we actually never, wanted, like, sort of top dollar for this car. <laughs> so, I, in my eyes, it has to run. Here is the auction, and they are not gonna tell me what car it is, I'm gonna have to figure it out for myself. I hope to God it's that semi truck right there. This is crazy. The plan for the day was to review Mike's ZR1. I was a little bit nervous because there was rain in the forecast and well, driving a ZR1 in the rain isn't ideal. But now all of a sudden, he's just like, we got the car for the call out. I, I thought I was just gonna drive your McLaren or something and, and now it's turned well, into an auction too, car. We got even, something even better. This I'm so excited. Even better. Look at this. Look at these GoPro vloggers. He can get more views than me with a GoPro. Damn it. I've actually never even been to an auction before, so this is exciting. Uh, they are telling me where the car is approximately, and then I'm gonna have to determine for myself which one I think it is. I'm pretty sure knowing these guys and knowing the fact that guy I've never met before has purchased me a car, it's gonna be uh, very interesting looking. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, so, let's do this. Yes. 105. ES 105. However, from me already looking around, I think they have moved it, so I don't think you're gonna find it in the spot. Okay. But I'm gonna let you look in the ES section just to have a okay, little fun. Okay. I was thinking Pontiac Aztec, Pontiac Vibe, an old Civic. They're saying it's none of those. All right, we'll just give you the general ballpark. Okay. It's over here. Oh, oh my like, God, you're right. There is two there's of two of them. I don't know what to do. <laughs> two of them. Literally. Piece of. Do you know what it is? <laughs> two of them. Oh my god, it's two identical ones here. We didn't plan for this, but there's two I did not plan for this whatsoever. <laughs> okay, well, when he said there's two of them, I see two reddish pinkish Volkswagen Beetles. <laughs> and they are of the body style that is quite feminine. And apparently I'm supposed to take this to the call out event. Uh, so going from thinking I was taking a Zero One or a McLaren to a Volkswagen Beetle, honestly, best day ever, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm actually pumped, this is crazy. Oh my God, and apparently the interior is amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at the wheels on this bike. <laughs> Oh what my. the? <laughs> See, now what was, oh it is cryptic camo, I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> wait, 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 it gets better, look at this! Parker, this is sick, What is dude. this, dude? Bugs Bunny back there? Oh my god! Yeah. I didn't even see that in the picture. 168,000 miles? That's Parker, not you terrible. You have the rare, the very rare uh, body paint color option on the door sill? No, or the door panel? I feel like they all come with that. that I, I this is that. custom, baby! Oh, oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh, 
look at that! Oh. Look at that! Have you heard of 2.0 straight pipe later? No. We're gonna. We're gonna see. <laughs> now we're gonna see if it starts. According to the auction, it does run, but we're not quite sure. Look at that. She does start. Ooh. <laughs> the amount of thought that must have gone into this. Because they, they could have just gone pure circular. Yeah, they could have just And gone they decided, mm, we'll do that instead. Right. Having owned two Volkswagens in the past, uh, the Volkswagen Gallardo and Volkswagen Huracan, I am familiar with this flip-up key. The Gallardo had one that literally looked exactly like this, so might be the same. That's a shame. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like really excited. Like this was a prank and it's funny, but I can't wait to whip this thing and you know we're gonna straight pipe it too. Look, Mike's driving that thing and I'm in a Volkswagen Beetle. You guys need to have an off-roading competition somewhere around here. <laughs> You should hook something up, see who can tow more. The truck <laughs> versus the Beetle. <laughs> Duramax versus the Durable. Oh my, look at you, look at you. First drive inside of the new car. I haven't floored it yet. <laughs> I'm more scared that it'll break than anything. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the downships are <laughs> legendary. Zero to 60 and never. I've never ever driven a car that downshifts full throttle and then halfway through being full throttle it decides to downshift again. It's like, wait, no, 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 I need more power than that. Hold on, there's only one thing left to do. E-brake. <laughs> See this, guys? This, this has given her more enjoyment than a Lamborghini. Note to self. Look at that thing! Look at Mike's truck! Drag race! Drag race! I'm full throttle right now. I am full throttle. I'm full throttle! One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The best part about that was we literally both didn't go over the speed limit. That is how slow both of these cars are. You trying to race, school students? Honestly, I think that Dodge Caravan would take me. I think a Pep Boys run is in order. It actually looks so funny looking this next to a ZR1 and a 570S. Oh my God. He's letting me drive this thing to lunch. I'm going to be doing a full review on the ZR1 in the next couple of days, but getting to experience it for the first time. And this one is a manual. Mike is taking out the 570S and I am in the ZR1. Let's fire this thing up. Oh! <laughs> I really like this thing. That McLaren looks amazing too. Mike, I gotta be honest, I am jealous of your garage. Right off the bat, you definitely notice how large the hood is, and it actually blocks part of your visibility. They increased the volume of the supercharger on the ZR1 over the Z06 to make more power, and <laughs> it's got this massive bulge in it that looks really cool. The gearbox, the seven-speed manual, feels so nice. <laughs> Holy <sh> <laughs> That's ridiculous. We just pulled up to Chipotle, and the subscriber of Street Speeds pulled in his orange Honda Element <laughs> to match these two. So here's the deal, guys, and I'm gonna need your help on this one. If we can get Street Speed to 700,000 subscribers, so he's about what, 20,000 away from that? 17K away. 17K away, I've got a link in the description below. He will put a picture, a giant picture of my face, and you bet I'm gonna make the stupidest face ever one on the hood one of his McLaren. Picks, one, one of the thumbnail thumb picks. <laughs> Excellent idea, my mouth will be so <laughs> wide open. <laughs> on the front of his McLaren for a week, and even more I'm than that, there will be, and you have to drive around like that. He will also have to put my face on, unfortunately, my new Beetle mm -hmm. and drive it to the call out event and drag it on the drag strip in front of all of you subscribers with my face on it. So <laughs> we're doing a similar thing on my channel for him. So you got yeah, the one, <laughs> the one that uh, that he's doing is even more extreme, Mine, like significantly cool. more extreme than this one. But <laughs> seriously, guys, subscribe to him. We have to see that happen. 700K, and he's got my face literally all over his car. It's gonna be so embarrassing. I love it. Mike is getting his 570S set up for the call out event with some Nitto drag radials. Underside of the McLaren. Oh, 
completely flat, just like the Huracan. I'm actually really excited to see this car run. It's got a tune and catless downpipes, which means the power should be somewhere around 700 at the crank. And with those drag tires, it should hook up pretty well. I'm thinking it might run a 9.9. You find some tires for the Beetle? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Perfect. Who needs drag radials There's when you can tires. just have those? New tires. Yeah, we can just literally <laughs> Here is something I have literally never seen we'll on a tire here. before. Yeah, he, uh, have we it. haven't, he hasn't seen it either. There's legitimately foam on the inside of this tire. The tire guy was saying for noise reasons? I mean, it makes sense. Well, he just said there's foam in there. It certainly ain't for I'm weight sure reduction. There's a volume on. control button. On my tire. On his tire. What the? Just hit the mute button. There we go, McLaren wheels with some fresh meat on them. I gotta say, both of these cars together look so cool. Two rear wheel drive supercars. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. And you got a third I'm, one over there I'm, too. Yeah, oh yeah, there's that <laughs> one that just sits over there now. If you had to pick one out of all of these, uh, what would you go? With. Well, I, my truck. Okay. But that's the obvious. Not truck. the truck. Uh, I'd probably take the McLaren. You take the McLaren. As much as I love the ZR1 and love Corvettes, like the McLaren is, it does everything so well. Look at yeah, that. I, I never I thought you would say that. Yeah, oh my God. God. That is a pretty wild statement coming from someone who started with a C7, then went to a Hellcat, then went to a Z06. He's had like 20 other Z06s in there. Obviously has this crazy truck and a new ZR1 that he likes the McLaren 570S the most. That is a testament to how good McLarens really are. Mike, have you ever been in a Beetle before? Uh, this is the first time. <laughs> this is the first time. So, I've made a lot of straight pipe videos. He's made a lot of straight pipe videos. I think the only thing left to do with this is to straight pipe it. So we're gonna run to Pet Boys, get some equipment. We're also gonna make this our own. Upgrade it, if you will. Have you ever felt cooler than you do right now? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's no chance There's... that I've ever felt cooler than how I feel right now. We've just discovered, well, I discovered this when I was driving it earlier, that the dashboard yeah. on the Beetle is so deep. Like, What is the point like, of that? I don't understand it either because we have, I mean, literally four feet of dashboard in front of us. Yeah. It's terrible. What goes there? I don't know. I, I seriously think it's for your feet. Or we could play a game of ping pong. Yeah, we could. <laughs> We're headed to Pet Boys now to completely ruin this car. You ever yeah. pulled an e-brake at speed? Oh my God, you're gonna pull that e-brake right now with my feet up here, I'm gonna die, dude. All right, pull it. <laughs> Auto house? Yeah. Where's the <laughs> Are you serious? Check this out, guys. This is how you operate the sunroof. It's got a turn dial for the sunroof. What the heck? We got heated seats with multiple yeah, levels. That's pretty awesome. Just pulled up to Pet Boys. This yeah, is about buddy. to get interesting. Yeah. Parker's last video of Pet Boys got like a million views, so this should go over well. <laughs> First order of business, we definitely need some eyelashes, maybe a carbon fiber hood scoop, some V10 badges, and of course, a much better exhaust system. Ever put on a steering wheel cover? <laughs> All right, so we're helping put on a steering wheel cover. Parker's gonna do it. One He's time done it before. before. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. Mine is pink, though. You got a big audience back here, Parker, so don't screw up. Oh, that is a that's dude. I feel like that might be just too small. From like 14.5 inches to 15. .5. This brings back old memories, man. The last time we were here with Ryan and the Lambo. Oh, we could get an air intake. <laughs> you boost the horsepower by two. Power. I know this. They do. Not. So I'm gonna pick out a bunch of items for the car. Mike is doing the same. <laughs> We're gonna find out what we end up with. I'm definitely thinking we need V12 badges all over it. Step one. Yep, definitely need one of these. Just finished rounding up the supplies at Pep Boys. I can see Mike over there sprinting around the car doing some sort of modifications. I'll wait over here till you're done. I don't wanna spoil your masterpiece. Mike, can you tell me what you've done? Would you like to see your modifications? I would, I would, I would. Okay, so all right. first of all, let's start at the back. Okay, let's start at the back. So we want people to know what they're dealing with here. Okay. So we got the 6.0 power badge <laughs> on the back there. Oh, nice. To let people know, Yeah. it is a 6.0. Yeah. Um, then we also, we want people to know what you stand for. Okay. So we put the size matters badge. Yeah, right I usually there. say the opposite of that. Front, front and center <laughs> right there. We went for some additional cooling here on the doors. Functional, I like yep. it. And then on the inside, uh, you know, I've never seen a Beetle without a hula girl on the okay. dashboard. So we got that too. I don't think my, but, well, I don't think my girlfriend's no, gonna like well, that. Well see, the problem <laughs> is, no, the problem is, is that somebody at the auction wanted this to look nice. Uh-huh. 
So they sprayed it with like some type of Yeah, so like it can't stick on the dash. So, it won't so now we're upside down. That's all right. So that's that. All right, well, let me put on my modifications. I'll give you a tour. Okay. Step one, I've installed this beautiful steering wheel. I thought we needed some color to spice things up in the interior. I just realized, though, when you hold the steering wheel, these fake diamonds actually cut your hands. This is the worst design I've ever seen. First modification, oh. it's it's just a light mod in the interior. Let's go, let's go around to the to the real. Real oh here. <laughs> yes! Now that I can see why you've done. Oh, <laughs> Check, done. Check that out, guys! <laughs> Smash that thumbs up button for the ladybug, and I gotta let everyone know that it's a V12 under the hood with a little bedazzle action. So you draw them in, you draw in the prey uh, to race with the eyelashes. Looks harmless, and then you kill them with the V12. Boom! Kill them with the V12. Dude. I like that you can actually see the eyelashes from the driver's seat. They're yeah. like little little sights, so you're properly centered in the road. And then of course we've got this distracting our view. And the horrible steering wheel. It doesn't move as much as I would like. I know, I wish it moved all the time. Start. All right, babe, check out what I've done okay. to my new okay. car. Let's go. <laughs> you put them on the wrong way. Keep I didn't do that, Mike did that. Boy, Mike put it on the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the bedazzled diamonds. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then, uh, check. Oh, yeah, yep. <laughs> Yeah, I put on the fence, babe. V12? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Wait, this is the wrong way, right? Or no? I don't know. I think it's right. You're the one with eyelashes. I don't know which way they go. Don't... You have <laughs> eyelashes too. <laughs> Science. So we put that right there. And 6.0 power badge down here. Because of the exhaust tip setup on the Beetle, couldn't really incorporate a fart can exhaust. So I've come up with an innovative solution. Look at that. Tell me that's not awesome. All right, babe, give it a rev. It's not quite working how I envisioned. Oh, one blew off. Well, we are running out of light, so we're gonna do the straight pipe video tomorrow. Absolutely. But dude, it is so awesome finally Thanks being here by. again. I can't believe that you and your buddy got me a car. Yeah, this is like a, I was not expecting to show up here and be given a car. That's wild. That's that street speed it's 717. Oh, just holiday just package. subscribe to him. Just subscribe to him. What a good guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.